Okay, after seeing some of the videos and the pictures online of the stacked text, the text on text, I wanted to figure out a way to do this with the free software that I have. So after a lot of fiddling around and making notes and practicing with this, I think I figured out a way to do it. So using Inkscape and JS Cut, which are both free programs, I'm not going to go into detail in this video. I might in another one. I'm still finishing off the fine tuning on this. But basically in Inkscape, start with a box, do your text. This will be the top level. And then we do a difference command so that we clear out the text. We do another file with the bottom. And then we place the top text and the bottom text together and then do a difference command. So we've got everything taken out there. And then in JS Cut, we do two files. I apologize for any resolution issues with the screen here. So this is the top, this is the bottom. The bottom just has to be cut deeper. We're doing this at 0.25 and the top at 0.125. Save the files and move over to mock. The Solsilva and MP CNC mashup has been completed. This thing works really, really well. It's a solid, beefy machine. And I've been playing around with the settings and the calibration, and it's pretty tight. It's holding its, its angles very well, and everything's working out pretty, pretty cleanly. In the meantime, I was playing around with some text on text, and instead of buying software that does that, I like trying the open source stuff. So it is possible to do this with free software, and that's something that I'm playing with right now. As far as the machine in here, I've got a screw going through there and there to hold this down. And then in the back, I've got it screwed to the back of the cabinet. So this thing isn't going anywhere. For the control, we're using this JP382A controller that came out of the 3040 CNC. And we've got a UC100 for the motion control. So this can be driven with a 12 year old throwaway laptop. And this controls the spindle that I did go ahead and mount on there. That's a 500 watt spindle that was purchased on Amazon. And for most of the stuff I cut, that should be enough. And moving over to the CNC, this unusual CNC with 3D printed parts. For this technique, since I'm still playing with the settings and practicing with this, I'm just using some insulation foam so we can go really fast and not worry about making too much sawdust. Something nice that I've noticed using this JP382A board that came out of the 3040 CNC, this board keeps the steppers really quiet. The Toshiba board that I was using when the steppers were idle, they'd be chirping and would be very warm. But with this, everything's engaged. And there's an ever so slight hum in here, but it's really, really quiet, which is a very nice, nice change. What I do before cutting anything is I move the machine around just to make sure that everything is clear and that we're not running into any screws or, or anything else. And just looking at the crosshairs to make sure that we're clear on the screen. And we should be clear of everything there. And then we'll send this back to, back to Z. We'll get started on this. Just moving along. Very fast cut with this. Since our depth for the top layer is only an eighth of an inch, it's a pretty fast cut. The first stab at this using this technique was on here 
and that shows the difference between the two. This foam is not the best material to use for this because it gets kind of flaky, but just for testing it certainly shows whether it's working or not. Took about 16 minutes to get to this point and we're just clearing out the open space. And starting the bottom layer. And because I like to show what works and what doesn't work, the technique here works fine. It is possible to do stacked text with free software. The issue that I had here, and I was getting close to the end, and all of a sudden we came across here with the cutter. And what happened was, on the back stepper, the Acme rod with the pineapple coupler, that 3D printed coupler, came out. So this side was loose and then the other side started to let go too so those couplers we're going to revisit and make that stronger but as far as the technique here with Inkscape and JS Cut and free software it can be done so a few things to work on it's all a process and a project and we're getting there so in the future I hope to share more details on how to do this it's really not that complicated for the text on text. You just have to think kind of in reverse. But there we are. Thanks very much for taking a look.